Hey Crossing Church, we're so glad you've joined us online today. We're excited about the new year ahead and want to let you know about a few things that are coming up. The first is that our church-wide 37 days of prayer starts this Saturday. We're setting aside the first 10% of our year to seek God for 2022. You can pick up your free copy of this devotional and there's also one for your kids at our Sunday service on January 2nd at 9 and 11. They're filled with messages written by Pastor Randy that will propel us into greater faith, freedom and expectancy for the year ahead. Also, there's no better way to start the year than with our first Wednesday worship night coming up on January 5th at 7 p.m. We hope you'll gather with us as we seek the Lord through extended worship and prayer. These nights are unlike any other, so invite a friend to join you and come ready for the Lord to move. We look forward to seeing you there. And from all of us here at The Crossing, we hope your Christmas was filled with lots of Christ-filled joy. Now we invite you to settle in and enjoy today's Devo from our Life Group's pastor, Pastor Reggie. Hello and welcome. My name is Reggie and I'm one of the pastors here at The Crossing. It's December 26th, the day after Christmas, and on behalf of Pastor Randy and all of us here at The Crossing, we hope you enjoyed the celebration of Jesus' birth. The Christmas at the Movie series and our Christmas Eve services were amazing reminders that God loved us so much that he sent his only begotten son into the world so that through his son, we could gain access into the most loving relationship we could ever experience. The Christmas season is a time when families and friends gather, eat a wonderful Christmas meal, and open presents from our loved ones and friends. It can also be a time when you really miss family who couldn't make it or are no longer with us or there's something stressful or painful going on in one area of your life, or maybe even multiple areas that doesn't seem to be able to be resolved. When Pastor Randy asked me to do a short message for the day after Christmas, as is my custom, I went to my back porch and asked God, what might he have me share? I sensed him say, remind my sons and daughters that because I sent my son, we have some amazing promises. As God's child, we can live today with the confidence, hope, and courage that comes from knowing that your standing with God is secure and that it's been sealed. You want to be sure. You want to be secure. You want to have hope. You want to live with courage. You don't want to be weakened by fear, paralyzed by doubt, or filled with the anxiety of wondering what's next. You want to know that your life means something. You want to know that your labors are worth something. You want to know that you're not alone. You want to know that you'll have the resources to face whatever is coming next. You want to have inner peace. You want to have the motivation to continue. You don't want to feel unprepared or weak or unable. You don't ever want to think that it's all been for nothing. Yes, you want to stand on the firm foundation of surety, and we will look to someone or something to give it to us. The fact of the matter is, is that we live in a world where things break, die, get corrupted, or otherwise fade away, and assurance is only found vertically. If you are God's son or daughter, you stand before him is sure. And because of it, you have security in your life right here, right now, and on into eternity. Listen to these promises. You have the security of knowing that you don't have to hide or play act because every one of your sins and weaknesses have been covered by Jesus' blood. We read this in 1 John 1:7. You don't have to fear that you will not have what it takes because our Savior gives you all that you need to do that he's created and called you to do. We read this in 2 Peter 1, 3. You don't have to worry that you'll be left alone because our Savior has made you the place where he dwells. We read this in Hebrews 13, 5 
in 1 Corinthians 6.19. You don't have to live with regret because all of your past sins have been forgiven by his grace. We read this in 1 John 1.7 and 2 Corinthians 7.10. You don't have to search for identity, meaning, or purpose because he has made you his child in his image and created you for purpose and good works. We read this in Genesis 1.26 and Ephesians 2.10. You don't have to worry about the future because all the mysteries of what is to come are held in his sovereign hands. We read this in Psalms 139, one through 18. You don't have to fear trouble or difficulty or suffering because our savior uses all of these things for our good and his glory. We read this in John 16, 33 and Romans 8, 28. You don't have to hope that your labors are worth something because the work you do in his name is never in vain. We read this in Deuteronomy 8, 18 and Proverbs 16, 3. You don't have to fear being punished because our savior took our punishment and satisfied God's anger. We read this in Isaiah 53, 5 and Psalms 65, three. Yes, you stand before God sure and secure. And because you do, your life right now is blessed with every kind of security you could ever want. I'm going to read what Paul wrote to the Ephesian church in Ephesians 1, verses three through 14 from the Passion Translation. It really sums up all that God did for us when he sent his son. Here's what it says. Every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realm has already been lavished upon us as a love gift from our wonderful heavenly father, the father of our Lord Jesus, all because he sees us wrapped into Christ. This is why we celebrate him with all of our hearts. And in love, he chose us before he laid the foundation of the universe. Because of his great love, he ordained us so that we would be seen as holy in his eyes with an unstained innocence. For it was always in his perfect plan to adopt us as his delightful children through our union with Jesus, the anointed one, so that his tremendous love that cascades over us would glorify his grace. For the same love he has for the beloved Jesus, he has for us. And this unfolding plan brings him great pleasure. Since we are now joined to Christ, we have been given the treasures of redemption by his blood, the total cancellation of our sins. Listen to that, the total cancellation of our sins, all because of the cascading riches of his grace. This super abundant grace is already powerfully working in us releasing all forms of wisdom and practical understanding. And through the revelation of the anointed one, he unveiled his secret desires to us, the hidden mystery of his long range plan, which he has delighted to implement from the very beginning of time. And because of God's unfailing purpose, this, default plan, this detailed plan will reign supreme through every period of time until the fulfillment of all the ages finally reaches its climax, when God makes all things new in all of heaven and earth through Jesus Christ. Through our union with Christ, we too have been claimed by God as his own inheritance. Before we were ever born, he gave us our destiny that we should fulfill the plan of God who always accomplishes every purpose and plan in his heart. God's purpose was that we Jews, who were the first to long for the messianic hope, would be the first to believe in the anointed one and bring great praise and glory to God. And because of him, when you, who are not Jews, that's you and that's me, heard the revelation of truth, you believed in the wonderful news of salvation. Now we have been stamped with the seal of the promised Holy Spirit. He is given to us like an engagement ring as the first installment of what's coming. He is our hope and promise of a future inheritance, which seals us until we have heard and received all of the redemptive promises and experience complete freedom for all for the supreme glory and honor of God. 
Aren't those verses amazing, describing what he has set aside for us as sons and daughters? All of this started because God, motivated by his amazing love, acted on his love and sent baby Jesus to make a way for us. As we end 2021 and prepare to begin 2022, let's remember all of these things. Pastor Randy has prepared a wonderful journey through 37 days of prayer and fasting. The theme is, it's time. If we can hear and believe that our standing with God is secure, then it is time. Time to live the life he created for us to live. Enjoy the remaining few days of 2021 and set your hearts and minds for 2022 and 37 days. Let's pray. Father, you have already blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Holy Spirit, help us to walk in humility, courage, and confidence, and love the people that are around us the way that you, that Jesus, and that our Heavenly Father love us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We love you, be blessed, and enjoy the rest of your day.